Hello. These instructions are for installing acoustic panels. The panels are 600 mm wide, so how many you'll need will depend on the length of your wall. Before you begin, make sure you have the right tools for the job. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, masking tape, screws and wall plugs, a screwdriver, some adhesive, a straight edge, a spirit level, a fine tooth saw, a jigsaw and a drill. The first step is to measure the height of your wall from the top of the skirting board to the ceiling. Measure that distance and mark a line onto a panel ensuring that you first apply a strip of masking tape where you're about to mark. Cut along that line and then remove the masking tape. If any slats are loose after cutting, secure them using 15mm screws through the back of the panel ensuring that the screw heads are flush. Next, apply adhesive to the back of the panel. We're working from left to right, so we need to ensure that the left side of the panel, which will go against the left wall, is the side of the panel that has a slat overhanging the felt backing. Carefully offer the panel up to the wall and check that it's vertical using a spirit level. If you come up to a socket on the wall, then before applying the adhesive to the panel you should measure the size and position of the socket and transfer that to the panel, making sure to use masking tape prior to marking. Then cut out the hole for the socket using a jigsaw. We can then proceed to attach the remaining panels to the wall. At the end of the run, you'll likely have to trim a panel to fit. Measure the distance between the last panel and the wall, at both the top and bottom to check that it's parallel. Transfer the measurements to the panel, using masking tape if the measurement falls on a slat. Then cut the panel to width. Next, try putting the panel into place to check that it fits. If it fits, then apply adhesive and install it in place. Instead of using adhesive, you may wish to screw the panels to the wall. In which case you will need 15 3.5 by 35 mm black drywall screws, and they should be evenly set in 5 rows of 3 with the top and bottom screws being no closer than 50 mm from the ends. Fix the screws through the black felt so that they're sticking out of the back a little. Offer the panel into place and tap the screw so that they leave a slight mark on the wall. Now you can remove the panel and use the marks to drill holes for the wall plugs, and then you're ready to screw the panel to the wall. Alternatively, you can attach five horizontal 45mm battens to the wall and then screw the panels to the battens. This gives you the option of installing insulation between the battens if needed. If installing onto a ceiling, then you would need to install the panels using screws, ensuring that the panels are screwed into the joists. Also, a second person would be required if you don't have a panel lifting hoist. Once installed, it's time to stand back and admire your work.